Every time you create a new email message and you go down below on the body of the message and you type in some text, by default it has black text against a white background. Outlook has what are called stationary or theme messages that have pre-built in templates you can choose from which have different vivid colors, active graphics, and background images to bring some of your messages here to life. So let's go ahead and close out of here, not save it, and to set up our email messages to have stationary or themes, let's go backstage, click on the File tab, go down to Options, select Mail, and you want to make sure that your messages are being composed in the HTML format because any other format is not going to work, so HTML. Then come down below and click on Stationery and Fonts, and you'll see right there, Theme or Stationery for a new HTML, nothing else, email messages. No theme is currently selected, click on Theme, and what's the difference between themes and stationaries? Well, it says stationary for those that are stationary, and those are static, meaning that what you see over here is what you get, a bunch of cuddly bears. So if you want a little bit more control than just whatever's available, as a stationary, in other words, as a theme. Let's go ahead and scroll down, and I want to choose Ice. You can see the options down below are available. And by default, it's got Active Graphics and Background Image. If I uncheck that, if it had any background image, it would disappear, but this one doesn't, at least not that I can tell. And then Active Graphics, uncheck that. And if there's anything active, well, let's check Vivid Colors. Ooh, okay, that's vivid. So for this theme, that's the only option that really brings anything to life here. And so if you like it, go ahead and click OK, click OK, click OK. So when I create a new email message, double click in a blank area, come down below and start typing in some text. Oh, that's fancy. Look at those colors. Let me go ahead and select the text and then come up here on the Format Text tab because your styles for like your headings, well, that's what it's going to look like. That's a pretty cool heading style. In fact, if you want to learn more about heading styles and how they can be incorporated with other features in Outlook, you want to watch my Word training video on styles. And then what about bullets? Let me go ahead and say this is... I'm creating my list for camping, so sleeping bag tent. Go ahead and select it and click on the bullet. and well, That's what it looks like. Let me go down here and click in front of it, hit the tab key to see what it looks like when I have it indented. So the main topic to the subtopic, and well, I guess that looks okay. In any case, if you're like, no, nah, this isn't working for me, or you want to turn it off altogether, well, that's okay. Let's close out of here. Go back to File, down to Options, Mail, Stationery and Fonts, and then you can see it's got ice. So if I select Theme and scroll up and say No Theme, then we're back to where we started. No Theme, click OK, click OK, just double click. Down here, plain, ordinary black text against a white background. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.